Good morning, everybody. I am kicking this vlog off very quickly. I am having a disaster of a morning. I can't find anything. It's just one of those moments where you're like trying to leave the house and you're like, where is all my stuff? I have also just checked the weather and it is going to be a glorious 26 degrees Celsius in London, which if you don't do Celsius temperatures is hot and I'm wearing a suit. So that's good. I do not have the mental capacity to change my outfit now. I literally need to leave. I think I have five minutes and then I need to leave because I cannot miss this train because it's my only train and then I will fully miss my first meeting. So. Let's go, let's pray it's not cancelled because I haven't actually checked. This is my outfit of the day. The sun's very much interfering here. This is why I don't get up early in the morning because I can't do anything. This light, no bueno. I am wearing a Zara little suit. It's not a set, I was about to say it's a set. It's actually, you can tell the buttons do not match. It's not a set, but white blazer, white trousers, a little crop top bralette thing. I think it's from Pretty Little Thing. Balenciaga, huge tote bag just for bunging all my stuff in. I've got my Veja trainers, Prada Sunnies, zero jewellery I have just realised. Going well, going well. And I literally have lip liner on and actually nothing on my lips right now. I'm not even bothering until I am like close to London. Also, it is humid at the moment. I have actually had to straighten my hair after air wrapping it today because it just keeps growing. It just keeps getting bigger. It was doing this yesterday as well. But anyway, I'm gonna get some jewelry on. I'm gonna get going. I have two meetings, one got canceled, one event, and then I'm meeting a friend for a coffee after. So very excited, let's go. Honestly, actually buzzing to have a full day of doing things. I feel like I haven't done this in a little while. Jewelry station. Just gonna go with whatever is out in my bathroom because I don't have time to think about this. Oh my god, it is gorgeous. This is lovely. I'm aware I look stupid. I don't suit baseball caps, but it's hair wash day, you know? So today, today's a great day. I'm really enjoying my walk this morning and it is beauty prep day. So I'm gonna do all my beauty stuff today for my holiday. So I'm makeup free, my hair is greasy AF. I exfoliated my tan off last night. So that is what we are up to today. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I feel like I need a little bit of TLC right now. Also, the weather is really weathering in the best way right now. It's really helping my mood this morning. I am just happy little clam. It's days like this that make paying a fortune to live by the sea so worth it. Okay, I am back. So number one, I feel like I need to address the fact that I seem to be a horrific vlogger if I go to London. I am so sorry about that. I really don't feel like I've vlogged much at all yesterday, but I had a really great day. I had a meeting with Sandra Pay, you guys want to work with a lot, and I like religiously use all of their tanning products. It's really great to see the team. And then I had a meeting with my manager, and then I went to a little event which was at Townhouse, and they were doing like a big press day, doing manis, all of that kind of thing. I didn't get a money because I just like to go to the same person over and over again religiously, which is really stupid because I could have gotten a free money, but I just like to go to my nail girl, I love her. So yeah, I just went there, saw the team, had a really nice long chat, really sadly had to go home earlier than I would have liked to because I would have liked to have stayed for more drinks, but I had to get home and then I just literally zoned out on the sofa 
last night and ate a carbonara and it was great. So yeah, that was my day. I didn't really get to vlog too much, which is kind of annoying, but it just seems to be the way when I go to London. So apologies for that. Secondly, today I am going to start off by, I'm gonna do like a mask and wash my hair first. I really need to mask it at the moment. It's a lot warmer. My hair is getting a bit frizzier, I've noticed. Just like humidity frizz, not like dry. I need to put my eyes on not like dryness, like damage for it. Thank God, because I would be really sad. But it's definitely just like, especially if it's rainy outside or it's been raining or I'm just finding like it's like expanding slightly. So I want to just like really try and hydrate it to the best I can before I go away. And then I'm going to do tan and other bits after. But I like to wash my hair first because when I rinse my tan off, I don't like to use product on it straight away because it apparently changes the pH of your skin and then how the tan develops. So I always do hair first or hair on a completely different day but it just <sighs> i i'm in need of a hair wash today so we're gonna have to do it that way around i'm gonna tend to my facial hair the whole the whole shebang today fortunately i don't have to do my eyebrows because i massacred them slightly the other day also what is it about ice water like it's so good mm -mm. Mm, I look like an actual egg today. This is hilarious. Lol. I've actually been thinking recently about the fact that I rarely ever vlog without makeup on. I very rarely show up looking like a full on toad, but I would actually like permission to do that more. I don't know why, <laughs> why I feel like I need to ask permission, but is it okay if I turn up more like a toad in the vlog sometimes at the moment? Because I just feel like I sometimes don't vlog because I'm like, well, I don't have makeup on and I want to have a makeup free day, so then I don't vlog and uh and i would like to show up if i feel like it but looking like an egg are we cool with that do we do we mind do we mind if i look like this <laughs> just so cute right mm -hmm. i promise the hat will come up in a minute i'm making a little tea before we get started and one for me and one for my mum who has just turned up she's out in the garden doing her thing making it look lovely for me she's having a strawberry one and i'm having so these are the teas that i really like at the moment they're like twinings ones and they have ones that are like vitamin c type ones so they're meant to be like good for your immune system i really like the glow ones they're like a strawberry and something else strawberry and cucumber mm, delish so that is what i am having i love having them in my little amazon mugs speaking of i bought some new glasses off of amazon so i need to unbox those with you later so yeah those are my favorite fruit teas at the moment but I still have a huge box of Yorkshire tea in the cupboard because that is the best. It is also the best. I'm obsessed with having a cup of tea in the evenings at the moment. And then one of these to dip. Vegan Maryland cookies. Yeah. I know. My friend Brooke brought them around and I really hate her for it because I'm now really obsessed and I've bought like two packs. So thanks Brooke. I always feel like such a granny with a fruit tea. Is that just me or is anyone else like that? Okay. Finally, the hat is coming off. <laughs> wow. Okay, we're gonna go with the huge Kerastas Blonde Absolute Seeker Extreme. I'm gonna wet my hair, not too much, but I just find I get the best results this way when it's not soaking wet, but it's not dry. I just don't find the product spreads as well if it's dry and you end up using far too much, in my opinion. Sometimes I wonder if the people that say, use it on dry hair are only telling you to use it on dry hair because then you'll use more energy by more. It's such a good mood today. Like I woke up and I was in like, you know, an all right mood. You know, when you wake up and you're like, not in a bad mood, but you're like, mm, yeah, okay, feel good. And then the sun came out and now I'm just like super happy. It's so nice outside. I've just been chatting with my mum in the garden and it's just, it oh, just feels so peaceful. See, it's so much quicker, so much easier when the hair is like a little bit wet. an hour and then we'll rinse it off and then i'm going to get tanning okay it's actually been a lot longer than i had anticipated my mum was here for a little while she decided to do the front of the house as well bless her soul and then i realized that if i were to be doing this right now i would be taking my spf off and i needed to get some things from the shop for dinner so i then had to go to the shop to get bits for dinner literally walked there looking <laughs> like it's but once i take my spf off that is it from me for the day unless the sun goes down which doesn't happen until really late now so i have to do things in a very specific way because i'm lazy so i'm just going to take my skincare off quickly just so that when i am in the shower i'm not like opening up my pores because it will be quite warm and steamy and just like 
for letting my SPF get like right on in there. I just don't think that's good for you. So I'm going to just do a second cleanse after this, just to make sure everything's off. And then we are gonna shower, which I obviously am not going to film with you guys. And then cue the beauty prep montage. I'm kissing goodbye to my eyebrows, RIP, sad times. God, they really let the team down when I'm not wearing makeup. Anyway, let's do it. I have never felt more attractive them right now whilst there is nothing on my skin we are fresh out of the shower and going to use my old fave my trusty reliable jolene if you don't know what this is this basically sorts the mustache situation out on my face and every time i show this people say to me i'm assuming people that don't have this issue because i feel like if you did have this issue you'd probably know exactly why I do this. But basically, if I weren't on YouTube, I would not do this. There's a lot of people out there that really don't understand the fact that women aren't all born with like blonde, invisible facial hair. And when people point it out or make fun of me on the internet for it, it's very sensitive to me because I was picked on a lot when I was younger for this and when you're young and you don't have control over like how you tend to your body because you are like six years old and you don't have any money to like buy Jolene you just have to kind of like deal with the situation this stuff didn't exist back then there was like hair like the stuff that actually used to like dry your facial hair so there was that stuff or there was like waxing and my poor mum she really did try to help me as best as she could but my skin just didn't take very well to either of those options however as I got older I've discovered Jolene and I love singing it in my head every time I use it and I did use that a little bit kind of got more comfortable with my facial hair as I got older but then I started YouTube and people were just really rude it really like takes me back to being at school and like being laughed at and I find it really triggering and it just really upsets me so that is why I do this I don't do this because I'm like women shouldn't have facial hair I actually have zero problem with my facial hair it's just I don't I don't want to be put in that position every time I show up online so that is why I do this and I do it quite religiously now and every so often I stop and I think oh no one's said anything in a while I'm safe I can stop doing it and then someone will say something and it upsets me again it's just like such a deep rooted thing that I even though I know why it's upsetting me and I can like work through it it still doesn't sting less so here we are I've put a little cold towel on this area before starting to do this because I've obviously just got out of the shower and my pores are quite open. Normally I would do this the other way around. I just completely forgot. So that just stays on for a few minutes and then we just wipe it off. Delightful. I'm just going to do my eyebrows whilst I'm here because they are just not behaving at the moment. They're growing in all different directions. Before anyone brings up the fact that facial hair is linked with PCOS as well, I have been tested. This is just my genetics, like genuinely just my genetics. It's the Spanish coming down from my nanny. We just all have very dark hair in my family. And there we are. I'm a little red, but I have blonde facial hair. Okay, I'm just gonna hydrate my skin quickly because it's been left without product on for a while. I'm gonna start off with tanning. I'm gonna tan my face first because I'm gonna be using the Saint-Tropez Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse. And I'm gonna use the Lux Tonic Tan Drops. I need to wash my hands after I apply this. So I'm gonna do this first. So the body tan is only going on for four hours. So even though I tanned my face this morning after I put my SPF on, I thought I would double up on my tan on my face today. And then I'll do my evening routine once I've rinsed the Lux Whipped Cream Mousse off my body and then I can do my evening skincare. So this isn't like sitting on my face overnight because I really hate having tan on my face overnight. It's just a personal pref. Okay, time to tan. I have done so many videos on this, so I'm gonna keep this very short and sweet. I love this tan, it's great. I'll link previous videos if you wanna go and like hear about the tan. I'm just going to do my 
upper body with you because nudity and I'll do the rest off cam. Also, if you are new to this town, more is more if you don't want streaks. quickly do my back, this is how I do it. <laughs> I use the Saint Tropez face mist, mist my back, works an absolute treat. Thank me later. And there we go. It is one to four hours on the skin, but you'll start seeing it develop and the color come out after eight hours. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna be leaving it on for the whole four hours. And then before I go, I will do like a one hour, I reckon, unless it doesn't take, which it very rarely doesn't. Normally I've got too much like product on my skin or whatever, if it doesn't take. Do a one hour before I go. It'll be great. So of course, my call that I was meant to have with my managers this afternoon has turned into a Zoom. <laughs> so yeah, hang on. Let me just book some clothes on. Why? This was this could only happen to me. Honestly, two years of pandemic, two years of lockdown. This never happened. What are the chances? I actually don't know what I'd do if this wasn't my managers on a call. This would be very embarrassing. I mean, it's already embarrassing, but this would be really embarrassing. bits look at this how good is that this body oil that is coming to grace with us ryan's here i'm giving him a live show of some of my unboxings this one is what i mainly wanted to show him and i thought i'd show you guys at the same time do you well i was going to say there'll be some trainers that i've said i like before and you said you don't these aren't trainers well i can do that neither. so you know they're going to be ugly when i show you this box Everything. Wait, they're actually for holiday. That was a joke. No, they're not for holiday. <laughs> <laughs> they're just for wearing inside and outside. <laughs> I thought they'd look cute with like my jeans and a shirt. Interesting. I was influenced by Tamsin, who is one of my favourite content creators at the moment. The girl that does the satire. She's so funny. But just know that it's satire because I think some people don't get that. It's very kind of dry humour. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm so excited to wear these. I need to get a suede spray. Do we think I'll be able to wear them today? Oh no, it's gonna stop raining, isn't it? I think I'm gonna be able to wear them. I'm so, I'm so excited to wear them. I'm gonna wear them with my jeans and a shirt today. It's gonna be so cute. So that is my little purchase of the morning. Also, I have some homeware bits, which weirdly someone DM'd me the other day and they were like, can you do a homeware haul soon? And I was like, I'm really sorry, but obviously we're not doing anything to the house at the moment, so I don't have anything that I need to buy. <laughs> so props not anytime soon. I bought some homeware stuff, not because I was asked, because I break all of my drinking glasses. So I decided to pick up some new drinking glasses because we are running out. Did I show you? You didn't show me which ones you got. You said you were looking at something. Oh, it's a surprise for you, Uncle oh, Ryan. I'm so, oh my God, I'm so excited about it. It's so nice. Oh, yeah, they are nice. I love, I can't just buy like normal <laughs> things to drink out of. I have to have something ribbed or something iridescent or whatever. Oh my god, so cool. These are actually part of a cocktail making set, but it was the only way I could find the glasses that I wanted. So we've got like a cocktail spoon and some straws as well, which I'm not mad about. And then I really love these. Don't know if you're gonna love them as much as 
I love them. But they went with some of the drinking glasses that we already have. <laughs> Look at these. They're they're for, good. Yeah, they're for like hot drinks, but you can use them for like anything really. But I just thought they're so cool. And they'll go with my other glasses that look like this. Are they tacky? Maybe. Do I like them? <laughs> yes. Just really love them. They, go, they work nicely in the kitchen. Like they go with all the kitchen vibes. And then I think I bought some more, but they haven't arrived yet. And other than that, not much to report, other than I'm currently a very brown little bean after yesterday's tanning session. I'm very happy about it. Those tan drops on the face. They are so good. I've doubled up and I'm wearing them again today. So I'm going to be going on holiday with a really fresh tan and I'm so excited. But yeah, that is my little unboxing of the morning. I now need to film some TikToks before I go and get my nails done. I started like literally pulling them apart last night. So we're gonna have a real good before and after today. I also had the awful moment where I had to wash my hair last night and like style it and my nails were obviously like pulling away. That is the worst like combo when you're like due new nails and you have to wash your hair. Okay, it's nail time. We're gonna say goodbye to this little pest on the end of my finger here that has been annoying me for the past 24 hours since I picked it off. I'm well aware I created this problem myself. But yeah, I'm very excited to get some holiday nails done. So I'm having my gels removed on my fingers and whilst this is doing its work, we're gonna do my toes. I'm having a white with this gorgeous, it's almost like an iridescent greeny glitter going through it. I think you can just see it kind of like popping through. Really, really pretty. So that's gonna go over the top and then that will blend perfectly into my Ibiza color palette as well because my toenails will last longer than my fingers will. And I'm so excited to show you what we're gonna do on my fingers. half past seven and let me tell you that is a very late time for me to be having my dinner i love an early dinner the earlier the better the further i can get it away from going to sleep the happier i am so today not ideal but it's fine because i managed to get my nails done get loads of bits that i needed to get in town which i will show you when i get the chance i just got holiday toiletries i guess Maybe just sun cream. I got sun cream. Yeah. Let's do that and get home in time to set today's video live on time. Which I'm very happy about because I did a stupid thing when I booked my nails in for two o'clock. And for my toenails as well. That was risky business. There could have not been a video going live this evening, guys. So, got everything done, which is great. Just come home. I've been trying on a few bits that have come in. A few new in bits, which I am loving. Which is great. But yeah, I'm so looking forward to just binge watching Vampire Diaries on the sofa with a big bowl of pasta. Mm. The pasta that I'm eating, I'm gonna talk you through what I'm gonna do now because I, for one, I love a montage, but two, I am terrible at, oh, it's not ideal, is it? Oh, I'll work around, but maybe. Damn, I had the worst luck with avocados. I'm not good at talking through what I'm doing so i usually leave it to ryan he's not here so this is my i am on my own this evening pasta of choice and put it in the microwave for i believe a minute i've just realized it, it's not vegan i don't care i'm hungry it's got egg powder in it for anyone that's wondering but anyway that's my pasta of choice for this evening and i'm going to have it with a pesto sauce with a little bit of truffle paste in it because mm, delish i'm gonna throw some crushed chilies in there because crushed chilies generally stops me over salting stuff black peppercorns it's gonna go in there, a little bit of salt. I've got a bit of this garlic butter. I'm gonna fry my mushrooms in that before I even put the sauce in. I'm doing this in the wrong order. This is why I don't do this. So, mushrooms, a little bit of this, vegan meatballs, then the sauce, then the pasta, then I eat. Mm, delish. So that's what we're doing, basically. It's just like a green pesto pasta with meatballs and mushrooms and Broccoli, I forgot the broccoli, but the broccoli is here. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Hopefully it'll be nice and quick. Let the food montage commence.
Does this look good? Um, no. Does it taste good? Absolutely. And that is the most important thing. Forgot to add my broccoli, which I absolutely incinerated. This is why I don't do recipes or any kind of food related content. Good morning, everybody. We are on the holiday countdown. I've been up since seven this morning doing all the admin for the holiday. So we are checked in. There is all the excess baggage that could possibly have been booked because apparently you don't get the same amount of baggage you used to two years ago now I feel like the airlines have been a little bit snaky like that so yeah have upgraded all of the baggage so that i don't have a stress at the airport parking is i think parking is nearly booked one of our airlines has not given us a terminal and flies from either terminal and even the airlines flights today don't give a terminal for people that are literally flying in like a couple of hours i don't know how people are doing this I really hope that doesn't happen to us because I will be stressed. Yeah, we'll not be flying with that particular airline ever again. Never flown with them before, their website's confusing, it's all very hard to do, much prefer EasyJet. But yeah, apart from all of the boring admin aside, I thought I'd show you what I picked up yesterday. I got the beauty bits from Space NK that I needed. I got the ultraviolet SPF 50s, one for me, one for Ryan because I don't do sharing. And then I got an hourglass this is the brow sculpting pencil the micro one just because i'm enjoying not really doing so much to my brows at the moment so i thought i'd get the little one and then i also got the vanish concealer in a fairly dark shade for me it doesn't even look that dark now but this is a few steps up from my regular concealer shades just for when i come back off of holiday because i just even if i'm covering myself in fact 50 as i do every single day of my life i will still catch the sun a little bit nowhere near as much as i used to but i will need a darker shade of concealer i also have a darker shade of powder coming today hopefully fingers crossed it has not arrived yet and i need to go out soon though so that's not looking good i also got a new charlotte tilbury pillow talk because i realized i have run out yeah this is quite a dark nude for me so it would be a really nice one for when i'm on holiday slash when i come back off of holiday i've got enough like face sunscreen and all of that to last me a lifetime so that's all good yeah we are ready to go the beauty prep is done i just got to do that like one final hour of fake tan tomorrow i think and then we're good to go so i will see you when i am back not sure when you'll be seeing this just because we're having some difficulty with scheduling the uploads whilst i'm away it's a bit tricky so yeah who knows i might actually upload this before i go i don't know i don't know the timeline will level out at some point anyway i hope you all have a lovely week and i will see you again at some point don't know when but yeah love you all lots thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye